on the day wedding coordination. Weddings require professional helping on to ease the couple's burden by implementing all preparations they did and the presence of so-called angels on the side is vital to make a celebration worth remembering. Now that the couple has arranged everything from scratch, a helping hand is called for and uh, a coordinator is needed if a relative is not around to do the job professionally. It is best if a friend or someone else can offer assistance to curtail some expenses, but remember that you cannot demand that they do accept, even if it is easier for them to do so still. The nitty-gritty of wedding details has to be attended and the professional coordinator is a solution. Four coordinators is ideal. Two coordinators are assigned to pick necessary materials needed for the ceremony, flowers for the interrupts, particularly for the principal sponsors. The bridal bouquet is left for the bride for pictorial purposes. The rest of the interrupts who are with the couple can have the needed flowers or bouquet. They are going to have pictorials too and the best shots are having them at hand. An hour and a half, the coordinators must be at the ceremonial ground or at the church to attend to the guests and the bridal interrupts. Checking is done at the same time, bidding boutonnieres for male interrupts and handing the bouquet for the female interrupts and the rest who don't have theirs yet. At least an hour before the ceremony, offerings are set and remind those signed for the offering. This is for a Catholic ceremony. They are grouped near the offertory table. Fifteen minutes before the ceremony, the bridal interests is assembled. Then the procession begins with a coordinator assisting with the march. And one or two is assigned near the altar to assist members of the interrupts for their seats. Then the parents of the bride walk into the middle aisles to wait for the bride ready at hand to hand her to the groom waiting near the altar. Ten minutes before the offertory, the ones to offer are lined up at the back. When the ceremony is over, coordinators assist for the sequence of the big picture taking or do a roll call if nobody is assigned. For the recessional march, interrupts and song guests are gathered for some petal throwing and confetti to add gaiety. Then we gather everything left off like the veil, cord, the Bible, the unity candle, etc. Before the grand entrance of the couple, everybody has to be received. If there is a seat plan, then it has to be implemented. As guests are ushered in, music is played on either live if they are musicians or house music from the sound system. When everybody's seated, the couple are briefed for their entrance. Principal sponsors and parents are acknowledged and followed by the presentation of the interrupts. Then a grand entrance with all the flair needed, like bubbles, smoke, confetti, flaming swords, etc. The guests are assisted for the souvenir shots with a couple before proceeding to the buffet table. And uh, during dinner, guest food is passed on. With a part of the program, souvenirs are handed to some guests. And of course, a sister program host during the bouquet and gala games where single ladies and single guys are needed to participate. Take care of the supplies, please, if this is needed. Take care of the wrap up job like good left. Has to be brought home by the couple. All paraphernalia are handed over. 
These are the most needed details, and following them will make a job well done. Very wide of hobby to be in one place at the same time. Taking care of all the couple and guest needs is a good feeling of having done something commendable.